Hi, I'm Dr. Linda Rayer the, at Cornell University in the Department of Entomology, and I study Australian huntsman spiders, which are social. These guys live in big groups, anywhere from 20 to 200 individuals under the bark of dead trees. And I'm particularly interested in studying social spiders because Spiders are essentially cannibals, and when they live in groups, they make lots and lots of concessions. And so I've been interested in how these unusual social huntsman spiders make their livings. What I'm finding is that these spiders live in big groups with one adult female and then her offspring. But her offspring can be anywhere from the size of my little fingernail all the way up to the palm of my hand. And they're different ages and they interact, they share prey. And then individuals either disperse or the oldest daughters in the group try to inherit the natal retreat by killing one another. And so there's this combination of peace and violence. That's part of studying these spiders, and I love them. So show me around here. Okay, great. So these are two colonies that I collected in Australia this spring, and what you can see here, this is a big adult female with her offspring. It looks like I've got three different clutches around her, and you can tell she's a female by that black dot uh, right there. And then Here's another really strange colony where, for some reason, a bunch of adult daughters are still quite peaceful while living with mom, and yet at the same time, there's little babies in here. And what happens is they'll share prey. We found, uh, my grad student Eric Yip has shown that spiders that have older siblings in the group grow faster and are in way better condition than spiders that don't have older siblings. So here's an adult female and she's got older sons and daughters in this group and they're feeling a little bit testy. This is a small cage for them to st still have this many large individuals in. And so mostly they're just moving around and I notice there's a lot of males in here who are uh, Males are kind of a pain in these groups, and they have no hesitation with courting their sisters. In the wild, they're very, very outbred, and I'll make a point of moving yeah. males out um, yeah. so that they continue to be outbred. And I'll have many, many generations in here. 